In order to make America great and glorious again, I am tonight announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. Are you getting ready? And I am too. We will be resisted by the combined forces of the establishment, the media, the special interests, the globalists, the Marxist radicals, the woke corporations, the weaponized power of the federal government, the colossal political machines, the tidal wave of dark money, and the most dangerous domestic censorship system ever created by man or woman, the most dangerous system we've ever had. We will be attacked, we will be slandered, we will be persecuted just as I have been. I mean, I have been, but many people in this room have been. My opponents made me out to be a warmonger and just a terrible person who would immediately go into war. They said during the 2016 campaign that if he becomes president, there will never be a war within weeks and we will have wars like you've never seen before. It will happen immediately, and yet I've gone decades, decades without a war, the first president to do it. We will defeat the radical left Democrats that are trying to destroy our country from within, and likewise protect us all. We want to protect us. We have to be protected from all of those nations out there that are looking to destroy us from beyond our shores. There are lots of nations that hate us gravely. And that's the problem. When they look at us in disarray like we are right now, when we go to them begging for oil and we have more liquid gold under our feet than they have or any other nation has, and we don't use it because we're going to them, it's crazy what's happening. Joe Biden is the face of left-wing failure and Washington corruption. As I used to make deals for our country like you wouldn't believe. It was one, give me the next one, give me the next one. And we got them to stop taking advantage of our country. The, every nation took advantage of our country. We rene renegotiated deals with Mexico and Canada, USMCA. We got rid of the worst trade deal ever made. Ever made NAFTA, the worst trade deal ever made. That's why the farmers love Trump, because we did a great job, but manufacturers also. That was not good what he did. But we always have known that this was not the end. It was only the beginning of our fight to rescue the American dream. And it's a word you don't use, two words. I don't want to be Joe, it's two words, American dream. We are Americans. And we do not have to endure what has taken place in Washington, D.C. This is our country, our government, and the Carters of power, or our, they're our Carters. They're not their Carters. These are our Carters. So from now until Election Day in 2024, which will come very quickly, we'll go look at how time flies, look how fast it's all going. I will fight like no one has ever fought before on Islamic terrorism. We had practically just about, not that I can think of, no Islamic attacks, terrorist attacks during the Trump administration. And in fact, we got along very well with the various countries. And unlike Biden possibly getting us into World War III, which can seriously happen, I will keep America out of foolish and unnecessary foreign wars, just as I did for four straight years. We will again have peace through strength. That's all it is. As events overseas have shown, to protect our people from the unthinkable threat of nuclear weapons and hypersonic missiles, the United States must also build a state-of-the-art next-generation missile defense shield. We need it. The power of these missiles and the power of a word that I refuse to say, nuclear. We have to have it. In the midterms, my endorsement success rate was 232 wins and only 22 losses. You don't hear that from the media. And this is an elegant night and an elegant press. 
a place, and I'm not going to use the term fake news media. <laughs> so we're going to keep it very elegant. But you don't hear that from the media. But I think you will, because people are starting to see what happened. That's some score. And in the primaries, was 98.6 percent. But they were still trying to blame me. And the reason for the success and that unprecedented success rate is that the Trump administration changed our nation on trade, on securing the border with the strongest, safest border ever in the history of our country. I told them, I said, if you just keep a little bit lower standard, you're going to have a big victory. They said, let's win by 40 seats. Let's win by 50. I said, Do you, if you win by two seats, be happy. And the Trump administration came along, and now we're losing it. They're moving back into China. They're moving back into these other countries. It's horrible. That means low taxes, low regulations, and fair trade, much of which I've already completed, but now will even greatly enhance. Other countries should pay for the privilege of coming into the American marketplace. They have to pay to come into our country and make all of that money, take it away from us. And thanks to the Trump administration, still the best and the biggest country in the world is what we have. We have the best and the biggest. If you remember, for many years, you can look in your projection books, China was going to take over from us as the largest economy in the world in 2018 or 2019. I said, I don't like that timing. And I was with President Xi, who's now president for life. I call him king. He said, no, no, I'm not the king. I said, yes, you are the king. You're president for life. It's the same thing. But I said, President, President, you can't do these things. You can't. Remember, they had a China 25. That means China was going to take over virtually the whole world economy by 25. I said, that's not a nice sign. I don't want that sign. They took it down. They took down the whole slogan. Probably will be coming back at some point in the near future. And together, we will make America powerful again. We will make America wealthy again. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. We will make America glorious again. And we will make America great again. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you.